Good morning, everyone. Hey, I want to tell you about a couple of things that have happened several times over the last year. And it typically doesn't show up until at the end of an admission cycle. And so parents don't realize they're making this mistake. So often your, your child's doing well, they're the top 5% of their class, top 10% of their class. And you as a parent want the best for them. You want them to go to the best possible school. And so you encourage them to pursue those types of schools. You know, your Ivies, your top tier schools, the um, top tier Jesuit schools, your Boston College, Notre Dame, and so forth. But what many parents don't realize is that it takes more than just good grades and good test scores. It takes more than being in the top percentage of their class because everyone knows how difficult those schools are to get into. So the overwhelming majority, 98% of all students, fit the matrix. 98% of all students who apply to your Ivies, to your top tier schools, they qualify on paper. They have the great test scores. They have the good grades. They're in the top 20% of their, their graduating class. But still, those schools are turning away 80 to 90% of those students, even though they qualified. So how do you make sure that your child gets in? Um, I, I knew someone a little over a year ago, it was last year's admission cycle, they had applied to 10 schools and their daughter was in the top 5% of the class. Their daughter had a lot of extracurriculars. Uh, she had multiple talents. So she wasn't just an athlete or just in theater. She really spread herself across many areas, um, all related to the high school. And again, she had great grades, good test scores, and the parents did their research and they said, well, she fits. She fits in all of these schools. And she was rejected from all 10. She didn't apply to a safety school because her parents' research made them feel like, oh, for sure she'll get into something. And she didn't because she didn't have that it factor, that separation factor, because she looked like everyone else who was applying. She didn't have something that set her apart. And there's a lot of things, a lot of unique things that can set a student apart. Unfortunately, students don't know to take advantage of those unique things. They don't know how to do that. And parents, let's face it, sometimes they don't listen to what you're telling them. Um, so it's really important that to get into a top tier school, that you know what else it's going to take. What else are they looking for beyond the good grades, the great test scores, the super activity list? You know, oftentimes when you see your child compared to their friends or other students, you think, oh, my kid's doing so much more. But are they? Because when you look at what someone else at another school is doing or some other student who's applying and they've already been a published author, they already own their own business and we're not talking yard work. Um, they have already created something unique, something different, something to set themselves apart. How do you do that with your child? We can certainly help you with that. I'm Kelly McLean, the Kelly McLean Achievement Center. I'm here to help everyone figure out what that it factor is to give themselves the greatest opportunities. I've worked with students who did not qualify, did not meet the matrix for schools like Penn State, for Rochester Institute of Technology. I've worked with students who have gotten in even though they didn't make that metrics because their application, their it factor, were all so perfectly put together to show who that student really is, it made a huge difference for them. So it's really important for your 2022 and 2023 graduates, now is the time to be thinking about what sets you apart, what's that it factor. And don't just compare yourself to your friends. Don't just compare your child to their immediate friends and say, well, they're doing more because there are students all across the country who are doing more. And so you need to know what that it factor is. How do we separate them? How do we make them special? And that's something that we are experts at. We are experts at helping them find what will make them unique and separate them from everyone else who, based on grades and test scores, pretty much looks the same at that level. So if you have questions, 
please feel free to reach out. You can PM me. You can uh, get on my calendar. But I'd love to help you out. Figure out what that it factor is for your child because they really need more than just great grades and test scores to separate them. And I can tell you this, by them finding that unique factor early in life, that finding that something that does separate them, unique to them, by gaining that confidence, like, wow, I am special. I am different. I am doing more. Like, wow, I didn't even think I could do this hey, that's a lifelong feeling they're gonna carry with them, knowing that they were able to create something special early and not just be going with the flow of the best school students in their school. So, hope to talk to you soon. Hope this was helpful. It's super important because too often, I see, I just had this conversation with a dad the other day. He felt like, oh, my daughter's right there. And uh, fortunately, she's a 2022, we have time to work on it but it's something that you really need to be aware of. So I wanted to let everyone know um, so that you don't make that same mistake. Talk to you soon.